Hi, my name is Paulo Girdal. I'm a pickleball coach. And today we're here to talk about the difference in the rules from pickleball in 2021 to 2022. So, uh, welcome to my channel. Thank you for logging in. And uh, so today we're going to be talking about the rules from 2021. What did change and what is still kept the, the way it was for, for now 2022. So last year, the big controversy, let's start with the big controversy, was the chainsaw. The chainsaw was as you could, you could use the paddle or the ball and the paddle and try as a chainsaw, try to spin this ball in the way you want. Okay, I remember, I could be mistaken, you can write on the, on the comments below, but uh, I think PPA didn't allow their professionals to do this. APP was okay. So at the end, most of people start doing and using their hand, their, their paddle hand, to complete the chainsaw and get even a better grip than the paddle. So the, the spin that you could generate with this ball now was a very, very hard to people we start assimilating how to return those balls okay the pros already start assimilating and they start doing this this kind of serve uh, but a lot of rec players they didn't like it i personally practice a lot to do it and i personally like it but uh, that is one of the things that we change from 2021 to 2022 there is no more change so Okay, the rule is going to say now that you, ha you have to use your non-paddle hand, in this case here my left hand, to, to toss before you hit the ball. Now, you still can do the spin with one hand, backwards or forwards, but you cannot use your second hand to do it. Okay, I, think, I still think all the pros and all the good uh, advanced players, they are going to figure out a very very creative ways to do this and maybe next year they might even change again but for now there are no more chainsaw okay another one uh, that people keep asking me did they change the drop serve a drop serve is when you drop the ball you cannot toss it you cannot throw it down push down the floor you can just drop it once you drop it and the ball bounce on the floor you can return whatever way you want. Some people came this week and was saying, oh, no, 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 they changed the rule. Now you can, uh, you still have to do under your waist level. The paddle still has to be below the wrist. No, that, that, that was just a try. People tried to do that, did it, didn't pass. So our drop serve that before was just a provisory, was just a test. Now it is in the rule is approved and is as before you have to drop it you cannot toss or throw and you can use whatever technique you want to strike the ball to the serve area on the other side so just a recap there was no change on the drop serve okay uh, the third one that i want to talk about is the the let the let serve is when you serve the ball net the ball hit it lands on the serving area. So as was in 2021, that, that rule is still is this in place. It didn't change anything. You still can there is no let serve. Okay, if the ball hit the net and goes on the receiving area, you're supposed to be playing. Do not stop the game. Um, another rule that did change a little bit. But even in 2021, a lot of people didn't know this rule. So let me explain a little better. Okay, if you are the server, okay, and you are serving the ball to the other team, you're supposed to say the score, the full score, like uh, two, one, one. Imagine that was the score. So you have to, to do the full score before you hit the ball. Okay, not this time before I start main, uh, uh, the motion, it's about hitting the ball. Now, 
what did what changed a little bit and people didn't know it let me put like how it was in 2021 in 2021 if i made a mistake on the score so imagine if it's a 3-2 and i mistakenly say that it's 3-1 <clears throat> We could stop this game, the other team could stop this game before return, or even after return, as long as we didn't do the third drop or, or the third shot, okay? So, I, as a recap, if I serve and call, I call the wrong number and serve, okay, we could stop this game on the first two touches on this ball, and there was no penalty. Like, I, I, I don't get punished because I, I made a mistake on my count. Okay, but a lot of people didn't know that. How I know that? We had just a tournament, okay, recently, two tournaments recently, and people keep saying this kind of stuff, like that if you count your points wrong, you lose your serve now with your partner, or you have to give to the other team if it's already the second server. So no, there is no fault, okay? There are no punishment for calling the wrong number. Okay, now let's go for 2022. In 2022, they change it. So instead of you play one or two hits and then stop, no, you cannot stop anymore. So I imagine if, I, if it was a 3-2 and I call 3-1 and I serve. So 3-1-1 one, one, and then I serve, okay? And that is the wrong score. Both teams have to keep playing until the end of the rally. At the end of the rally, you can fix it. You can say, no, 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 was 3-2, now is da-da-da. So remember, do not stop playing. 2022, you cannot stop playing because the score is wrong, okay? If you stop playing automatically, it doesn't matter if it's the team that was receiving or the team that is serving, it, whoever stops the game, lose that rally. Okay, everyone, so that's it for today. Uh, they are 18, if I'm not mistaken, 18 changes or things that they kept or changed from 2021 to 2022. I think the most important are, are the ones related to serve, okay? Uh, I don't remember any more important than that. A lot of people just keep talking about the chainsaw, but that's it. All that, that four are, I think, are the most important. Hi, I hope you like this content. And if you have any question, just leave on the comments there. I'll make the best to answer these questions or even to make a new video. Okay, if you have any other questions, imagine if you have a question about uh, how to strike ground strokes, serve, any other question, if you'd like to make a video for you, just let me know and I'll make my best to make this video for you. If you like this video, please leave some comments, give a like, subscribe on the channel, and I'll see you next time.